And we're underway. A zone defense by Marshall to start off. 1-2-2 two, two zone. Johnny King on the right wing. Between the circles they go to Swingler. There's Swingler dribbling on the right wing. Right corner to King. Now to Custer in the deep right corner. On the baseline they go to Taylor. Back out front is T-Town showing good patience here, working the ball on the perimeter of this zone by the Lions. Tester out front, now to Johnny King. He's deep on the right wing. In the corner they go. A shot is up and no good by Tester, and the rebound controlled by the Lions' Blake Hill. Hill's a 6'3 senior for the Lions. Luke Guard at the guard spot. Gives it off to Blake Hill. Ball knocked away and taken away by the Wooden Shoes. Here's Swingler in the corner. The King. King takes the baseline. Shoots and missed it, but a foul charge. And his free throw is on its way and in and out no good. So we're still scoreless here. Just underway in this championship game of the Basketball Capital Classic. Free throw on its way. Good. T-Town has a 1-0 lead, and here comes the full-court man-to-man pressure. Bringing it up is Chad Boatman for Marshall. Across the timeline, he comes on the left side dribble, picked up by King. Now they go right side to guard on the wing. In the middle to Blankenbaker. Blankenbaker to the baseline. Ball blocked away by Gabzinski. Taken away by the wooden shoes. Up court to go to Custer. Now to Swingler to King. King. Back to... Swingler again. Now to Johnny King, who is on the left wing. Right wing pass to Custer. Custer will dribble to the middle. Off to King. Now in the corner to Custer. Down low, they go to Gabzinski, who shoots and scores. They just worked the ball so patiently around the, the perimeter, then finally somebody opened inside. Gabzinski on the baseline with the jump shot. And it's three to nothing in favor of the Wooden Shoes. Three-pointer is in and out no good by Hills of Marshall and brought down by T-Town. Here's Custer going to the basket. Shoot, no good from the baseline. Rebound controlled by Marshall's Boatman. Across the timeline he comes. Chad Boatman off to Blankenbaker. 5'11", senior, dribbles to the free throw line. Jumper from there is an air ball, no good. Rebounded by Taylor. And the wooden shoes quickly up the floor. Custer in the deep left corner. Cross court skip pass in the right corner to King. In the middle there goes Kapkinski, loses the handle, but Taylor gets it. Now to Custer, three pointer on the way. No good, Taylor the rebound. Fakes in the middle, shoots, no good. Kapkinski the rebound up and no good. And the rebound brought down and uh oh. Of the game now and get some attention to that Knee or ankle, looks like they're checking the ankle out. That's good. Here's a steal by Taylor. And a foul charge is John Tipton, number 30. Into Blankenbaker, coming up down the floor he comes. Lays it off, and the ball goes out of bounds. The last tip by T-Town. Blankenbaker really zipped the ball up the floor, and he attempted to hit his teammate Hills on a pass on the baseline, but it's deflected out of bounds. And he comes to Blankenbaker, who shoots and scores. Nicely done between guard and Blankenbaker. And it's 3-2 to two in favor of the Wooden Shoes. Custer to Swingler. Now to King. Here is John Tipton back to King. Now to Swingler on the outside. Cross-court skip pass to Custer. Takes the baseline. It's 12-footer. Good. That's Custer at home on that left baseline, able to drain that medium range jumper. And it's five to two, T-Town. Blankenbaker across the timeline, guarded by Swingler out front. Blankenbaker dribbles to the left side on the wing. Now they go swing the ball around. A long three-pointer from the corner is no good. By Marshall's Luke Guard. And the foul is called against uh, Chad Boatman against of uh, Marshall for the block. Kapsinski is working it off over there on the sidelines. Looks like he's going to be okay. And should be able to come back in momentarily. Five to two. The Wooden Shoes with the ball and the lead. 
Swingler across the timeline to Custer. Now on the baseline to Taylor. Cross court bounce pass to Johnny King on the left side. Top of the key they go to Swingler against this Marshall zone defense. King at the top of the key now. Johnny King dribbles right side to Custer. Now back out to King. King dribbles to the middle, spins in the lane. Go off to Swingler, his three-pointer from the right side, no good. The rebound tapped up. Gazinski is back into the game. It's good to see. Here's Custer off the screen by Gazinski. His three-pointer is no good. Johnny King high for the rebound, and he's caught into Blank and Baker. He's got it out front by Swingler. He'll bring it up across the timeline. So the Marshall Lions, red and white, their colors, red numerals. 316 to go in this opening quarter. Five to two. Blankenbaker's 12-footer. Good. From the left side of the lane. 5'11 senior Brandon Blankenbaker. And it's five to four. Johnny King, a three-pointer is no good. And Johnny King hits the free throw. Six to four in favor of the wooden shoes. Free throw on its way, rattles through for King. Now here come some substitutes. D.J. Morris, as Rob mentioned, coming into the game. And also number 42, Keith Parker. For Tom Brannon, the veteran Marshall Lions head coach. Free throw on its way, and good by King. Eight to four in favor of the Wooden Shoes, a four-point lead, 2.57 to go in the opening quarter. Blankenbaker quickly across the timeline. Here is a baseline move made by Hills and rejected by Gubzinski. Out of bounds. It'll be Sullivan basketball. I should say not Sullivan, but Marshall basketball. basketball. All right. He may think of it twice about doing that again. Yeah. And it comes out front to Morris. Plays it off to Boltman. Here's a jump shot off glass. It's no good by Hills, and the rebound comes off of T-Town. It'll be Marshall basketball. Blankenbaker will inbound for the Lions. And it comes to Morris. His jump shot from the right side is no good. 12-footer rebounded by Gubzinski. Quickly up floor to Custer on the left wing between the circles to Swingler. Now to King on the right left wing. A right side pass in the corner to Custer. Between the circles to Swingler. Now back to King. In the corner, Gubzinski lets one go. It's no good. From about 17 feet. Rebounded by Blankenbaker. Quickly up floor to Boatman. Boatman. Cross court to Morris. Morris guarded by Custer. Deep down again, staying man to man. Here's a drive to the middle by Blankenbaker. Deals it off. Now gets it back top of the key. And we have defensively. Part of it uh, from Marshall's standpoint is they can't find any good shots against T-Town's defense. T-Town has been very patient against this zone. Here's a long three-pointer. It's no good by Boatman. And the long rebound comes to Swingler of T-Town. Off to King. Back to Swingler between the circles. He'll work the ball. Now to King on the deep left wing. Johnny King on the move toward the middle. Now right side pass to Swingler on the wing. Now the ball deflected away by Blankenbaker. Blankenbaker against King. And he is undercut. And get there in time and undercut. Blankenbaker. His free throw is good. And the lead is three for T-Town at eight to five. Blankenbaker's second free throw on its way. Got them both. Eight to six, a two-point wooden shoes lead. Gabzinski to King on the deep left wing. Looks toward the middle. Now to Custer, who pops out against this zone. Uh, Marshall. Johnny King loads up a three-pointer from the right side. No good. And the rebound control by Marshall's Blankenbaker. Across the timeline, he comes. Here's a three-pointer on the way. And good by Chad Boatman. The 5'11 guard with the bucket. And it's a 9-8 Marshall lead. Marshall, the home team here, as their fans come alive with their first lead of the evening. Custer out front. Now to Swingler. Deep in the right corner to Johnny King. 
King underneath to Gobzinski. Against the double team, loses the handle, but gets it off to King. King thought about the three, now drives in. Throws a wild shot up over the backboard. <laughs> Johnny King sort of kicked at the ground after he did that. He goes, man, I look bad on that. And he kind of got up in the air and didn't have anything to do with the ball except throw it up there, and that's where it went. Lankenbaker down the lane, up no good as Gobzinski got in his way and kind of intimidated him a little bit. Here comes T-Town on the move. Swingler to Gobzinski between the circles. In the corner to Custer. Custer's 18-footer is good. Smooth, Mitch Custer. He's Mr. Clutch for him, too. All stater. 10 to 9 in favor of the wooden shoes. What, 12 seconds to go here in the opening quarter. Not much scoring, but plenty of action. Marshall works it. Here's a three-pointer on the way. Good! Boatman, his second three-pointer on the first quarter. And a long heave is no good as the quarter comes to a close. And the Marshall fans, clad in red and white, are on their goal. 12 to 10. Marshall on top with the ball to begin the second quarter play. Lions showing no fear of the 11th rank. Wooden shoes. Class A ball. Oh, there's a steal by Custer. Custer goes to the lane, lays it up and in, but he was fouled before the shot. Now he's in for Kaylee. Andrew Meddy is also into the game. A 6'3 senior. Johnny King deep on the left wing against this zone for the wooden shoe, against this zone for Marshall, I should say. Wooden shoes with the ball. Here is Tipton in the corner to Custer behind the screen. Let's it go. It's short, but there's the rebound by Tipton. No good. And the ball control by Keith Parker, the 6'3 senior for Marshall. The Lions with a two-point lead as Blankenbaker dribbles deep on the right wing. Guarded out there by Tipton. Now we have a foul of waves here and around this part of the state. 6.55 to go in the second quarter play. 12-10. Low scoring game here. T-Town and Marshall. Three-pointer, though, by Custer. On a skip pass from Johnny King from deep in the right corner. And it's 13-12. The lead belongs to the Wooden Shoes again. Blankenbaker out front against the defensive tip. And Blankenbaker lays it off in the corner. Three-pointer on the way is good. D.J. Morris. D.J. Morris, the junior, able to hit that from the corner. And it's 15-13. Looks like neither one of these ball clubs is going to be afraid to take the three if they've got it. Tipton on the deep uh, right wing. Looks to the middle. Can't find Gabzinski. He's, that zone's packed in there against him. Here's Custer on the drive. His shot is no good. Rebound fought for. And last touch by... Marshall, it'll be T-Town basketball underneath their own basket. Six minutes to go in the second quarter. And it comes to Gabzinski, lays it off to Custer. His shot is up no good, and he's called for traveling. He was off balance when he got that pass. He sort of flipped it up there and got called for traveling. Talking about the team, neither team being afraid to put up the threes. Marshall is probably forced to much more than what uh, T-Town is. Norris has done a good job against Gabzinski inside. Blankenbaker deep in the right corner, dribbles to the top of the key. Now down the right side of the lane, cut off. Lays the ball off now to Boatman. And we have a foul charge against T-Town. Against the wooden shoes. Luke Guard will inbound underneath the Marshall basket. And he comes to Blankenbaker deep in the right corner. King is on him. The battle that is. Johnny King and Blankenbaker. Blankenbaker dribbles out now on the wing. Signals play number five. Blankenbaker dribbles between the circles. Now takes it down the lane. Let's it go from the free throw line. No good. Kaczynski high for the rebound. For T-Town. Outlet pass to Custer across the time while he comes. On the right side dribble, right corner to Tipton, back to Custer. There's Tipton, a long shot, no good. And the rebound collected by Marshall. Here's Blankenbaker in the middle, free throw line jumper, blocked away by King, but right to Blake Hill. Now back to Blankenbaker on the left side on the wing 
King picks him up there. Top of the key. They go to Hills. Now to Parker. Parker on the dribble. Now left side. Shot is up. And good. A three-pointer. That's Luke Guard. Luke Guard with the bucket. He's the one I like to burn the Saluki with four or five of them. 18-13. A five-point lead for the underdog Lions. Gabzinski is wide open underneath. Shoots and missed it. And a foul shot. Gabzinski's free throw is no good. And the rebound controlled by Parker of Marshall. Off the blank and Baker. And he'll bring it across the timeline. Here's a pass in the corner and a long shot is good. That's Boatman. His third one of the game. A three-pointer from deep in the left corner. And 21 to 13, an eight-point Marshall lead. King in the left corner, now to Meddy. Meddy cross-court pass to Custer. Custer back between the circles to Tipton. Tipton wants a timeout. Ken Crawford wants a 27. Sullivan, 57 to 52. The Lukies are three and one. Here's Betty taking the baseline, and he's fouled by Parker of Marshall. It'll be three and two. His free throw is on its way and no good. And rebound control by Marshall, by Hill. Off to Blank and Baker. He'll bring it across the timeline. Started by Swingler. Blank and Baker drives right down the lane, lays it off, and Klaus couldn't hold it. But it was last touch, however, by Custer as he knocked it away from Klaus underneath. The blanket maker looks like he's trying to drive the lane and then dish off. Blanket Baker inbounds out front. Custer went for the steal. Now a long shot is no good by Morris. Rebound control by King. Up to Custer. Custer trying to take the baseline. Let the 10-footer go. It's short off the iron. Rebound control by Marshall, but it comes into the game. Into Kopczynski. Custer in the deep left corner. Now out to Swingler. Now to Custer in that left corner. Back out between the circles to Swingler. Now to King on the right wing. Between the circles to Swingler. Looks to the middle. Now to King on that wing again. They lob underneath to Haney who shoots and misses. it. Kipzinski has the rebound. Ball knocked away. And Marshall runs it down. Here's Marshall on the move. A three-pointer is no good to left side. His free throw is on its way and good. 21 to 14. Lead down to seven for the Wooden Shoes. Trailing Marshall. Custer missed the second one and the rebound is controlled by Hill. There's Blankenbaker. Long down floor to guard. Guard takes the baseline. Shoots and scores. Guard went right around the taller player guarding him. That was Haney. And scored on a nice baseline drive. 23 to 14, Marshall. Custer out front on the dribble between the circles. Now to King on the left wing in the middle. They go to Haney, lost his balance. We've got it to Swingler. Swingler dribbles. Now off to King. They go to Gabzinski. Taking it right at. And they're doing a good job on the defensive boards. Taking it right at the wooden shoes. Not intimidated at all. 23 to 14, they lead. A nine-point lead. Blankenbaker, cross-court pass. They go to guard. Now here's Blankenbaker in the corner. The shot is up and no good at air ball by Blake Hills, but the rebound's put up and in by Boatman. Boatman's had a great first half. Yeah, he's had to in the second quarter. Who would have thought this? Free throw up and in. Well, who would have thought T-10 had only, would only have 15 points with a minute 53 to go in the half? Well, I would have believed that more than I would have believed they would be trailing by 10. Free throw on its way and good. By Custer, he got them both. Down to a nine-point lead, 25 to 16, with 1.49 to go here in the first half. The Marshall Lions trying to knock off the favored T-Town Wooden Shoes in this championship game. Here's Blankenbaker, top of the key, dribbles left side, and a reach-in foul charge against... Looks, 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 trying to find somebody. Finally gets it into Blankenbaker, deep in the corner, tries to take the baseline, can't cut off. Back out front, the guard is long. Three-pointer is good. Guard, a three-pointer. And Marshall leads again, 28 to 16. And the prize of Luke go up. King in the middle of the Gabzinski. His 10-footer in the lane is good. Gabzinski's first bucket in a while. He kind of had the first opening bucket of the game. 
28 to 18, a 10 point lead. Another three pointer by Marshall, bounces up no good. Kaminsky high for the rebound. Controlled by the wooden shoes with less than a minute to go in the first half. Kaminsky in the middle, shoots and scores, and a foul. His free throw is good, he got it. Got the free throw, a three point play, 28 21, seven point lead, 50 seconds to go. Blankenbaker will walk it up the line. Now gets it across the timeline to guard. Now back to Black and Baker between the circles. Left side on the wing to Sims. Back out front to Blank and Baker. Out of guard. 36 seconds to go. Between the circles is guard in the corner to Sims. Now back to guard. Guard dribbling left side. 15 footer is good. Luke guard. The 5'11 junior. 10 points this quarter. And again, the prize of Luke. Luke Gar with a nine point lead, the Marshall Lions. He's been cool hand Luke this quarter. He said, ooh, <laughs> nicely done there, Rob. 30 to 21, eight seconds to go. Johnny King, cross court skip pass to Custer, three pointer on the way is no good, but we have a foul. And Baker, across the timeline he comes, lets it go, and it's off, no good. As the first half comes to a close, but the Marshall Lions. Flat in their red and white, head to the locker room, and their T-Town hopes they get off to a good start here in this second half. They trail by nine, 30 to 21, and have the ball. They begin the third quarter play. Custer deep in the corner, his three-pointer is good. Mitch Custer, there's a start for the Wooden Shoes. I think they've run that play about four or five times this, in, the, in the first half and start off with the third quarter. Custer brings T-Town to the win, six, 30 to 24. Here's a shot from the corner, it's no good. That was Boatman who missed, and the rebound is controlled by the Wooden Shoes. Here they come, Swingler, now to Custer, back to Swingler between the circles, left side to King on the wing. Johnny King looks to the middle, nothing happening there, so he'll back it out, and the Wooden Shoes will go into an offensive set for Ken Crawford. Barking over there on the sidelines, the veteran Wooden Shoe head coach. Custer deep on the left wing, top of the key to King. They look for Gabzinski inside, he's being sagged back in that zone. Here's King off to Custer, three-pointer, in and out, no good. Rebound controlled by King up and in. Here come the shoes, 30 to 26, a four-point lead, and now a ton of man pressure. They struggle to cut into this deficit. Into Blankenbaker, he's got it out there by Swingler. Blankenbaker is fast, brings it across the timeline, double team. Now off to guard, Luke guard. His 18-footer is in and out, no good. Gabzinski gobbles up the rebound. Off the Swingler, across the timeline, he comes on the right side dribble, now between the circles. Left side pass to King on the wing. Looks to the middle, top of the key to Swingler. He looks for Gabzinski down low, can't find him. Now left side to King on the wing. Top of the key, Gabzinski a three-pointer from there is good. Nope, a two-pointer. Two -pointer he time. was just inside the arc at the top of the key. And it's 30 to 28, a two-point Marshall lead. Two-point lead for the Lions. Guard in the corner, takes the baseline. Here's a three-pointer on the way. No good. No good by Sims, and here's Custer going to the hole, shoots and scores! And a foul, and a chance at a... Custer's free throw is good. Just like that, the shoes have the lead. Only took about a couple of minutes to shave that lead and take the lead. 31 to 30. Across the timeline, Blankenbaker Underneath, here's a fake shot up and in by Hill. Blake Hill is a good pass by Blankenbaker to find him open under the basket. 32-31, Marshall back on top. Johnny King deep on the left wing, top of the key to Gabzinski. Now the corner to Custer, back to King, launches a three-pointer. It's short off the front iron, and rebound controlled by Marshall's Luke Guard. Guard across the timeline on the dribble. Now. In the corner to Blankenbaker, right corner. Blankenbaker on the right wing, tries to take the right baseline, goes to the hole, lays it off. Here's a shot up and no good by Boatman, rebounded by Gobzinski. That one went down, in and out for Boatman. Here's the pass underneath, shot of no good by Haney. Gobzinski the rebound, up no good. Gobzinski again up and good, but he was fouled before the shot. Again, teachers with how they go rebounding and defense. Justin Hitchmo is into the game, a 6'5 sophomore center. Some size in there for Tom Brandon's ball club. Custer in the corner, three-pointer on the way is good. He's Mr. Clutch. 
The All-Stater Custer has led the charge for T-Town here in the second half and the Wooden Shoes lead 34 to 32. He picked up nine points in this quarter. And now there's a steal by Haney. As Custer stopped, caused that in the corner to King. In the middle to Gabzinski, he shoots, missed it. Rebounded by Haney, he lost the handle. Gabzinski runs down the rebound. Out front to Swingler, now to Gabzinski in the middle. 12-footer, good, from the right side. And T-Town has a four-point lead at 36 to 32, and another timeout wanted by Tom Brandon. I think this one's a 20-second timeout. Indeed it is, with 4.15 to go in the third quarter. Guard across the timeline, dribbles to the middle. Now lays it off, a three-pointer on the way. Is no good by Hills. And the long rebound comes to Custer. Moss has gone a little cold here too, Rob, in right, the second uh, half. One of six. That's not good. Swingler out front against this Marshall zone. Dribbles to the middle. Now gets it off to Johnny King. He looks to the middle to Gabzinski, who flashes free but can't get the ball. Now they get it to him. He shoots and scores. They're Swingler got it to him. They're looking for him now, and he's, he's looking for it for the ball. He, uh, he is. He's moving to the open spots in that zone. There are some creases in there. Here's a pass underneath. Shot is up and no good by Hill. And the rebound corralled by King. T-Town allowing only one shot now on the offensive boards. Here's a pass to Haney scores. And Johnny King made a beautiful pass in close quarters to get the ball to his teammate for the score. And it's an eight-point T-Town lead at 40 to 32 as the Wooden Shoes threaten to pull away even more. Blankenbaker between the circles. Left side pass to Morris. Now off the guard. Top of the key they go to Boatman. Left side now to Hill. Between the circles to guard. Picked up there by Custer. Guard dribbles to the middle. Custer on him. He forces it up there. No good. And Custer comes away with a rebound. 2.45 to go in the third quarter. Across the timeline to Swingler in the middle to Gabzinski. Shoots and scores. Marshall almost Unable to stop Gabzinski now down low. As they found little seams in that zone, they're getting the ball in good shape, and he's able to score. 42-32, a 10-point T-Town lead. The T-Town scored 21 points in six, less than six minutes here. That's all they had the first half. Here is Blankenbaker coming off of the screen, misses the shot at the free throw line. Gabzinski bats out the shot by Hills, but he batted it out to a Marshall teammate. Here is the ball stolen away by Haney underneath. Marshall now turning the ball over with much more regularity, too. Not only are they cold, they're turning the ball over. 1.55 to go in the third quarter, 42-32. The shot from the corner is no good by Custer. Rebounded by guard of Marshall. Down to Blankenbaker and Blankenbaker and the Lions. Here's a three-pointer from the left side. It's up and in, a big one by D.J. Moore. Boy, Marshall really needed that, didn't they? Yes, they did. It cuts it to seven with a minute and a half to go in the quarter. 42-35, 129 to go, third quarter. Kipsinski at the high post now. Off to Custer on the right wing. He backs it out between the circles to Swingler. Against this Marshall zone. Left side to King, deep on the wing. Top of the key to Swingler. In the corner to Custer. Back to King. Now the ball knocked away. Blank and Baker, and he fouls. Cut of T-Town. 1-10 to go in this third quarter. All wooden shoes. Here's Custer at the top of the key. And it comes in. Key turns to the lane. 12-footer is good. Almost impossible to stop that when he gets the ball in that good a position. Right. At 6-7. 44, 35, 53 seconds to go in the third quarter. Across the timeline comes Blank and Baker on the left side dribble. Now right side, a three-pointer on the way. Is no good by Hill. Rebound fought for, and Gabzinski has it for the Wooden Shoes. Off to Custer. The Swingler now back to Custer with 34 seconds, and the Wooden Shoes will walk it across the timeline. Looks like they're going to settle for the last shot. Marshall settles back in that 1-2-2 zone, which was causing problems for T-Town earlier, but they've solved it. Good adjustment at the halftime by Ken Crawford. He flies Gabzinski into the middle of that zone, and they've been getting him the ball in good shape down there. It's a big hole in the middle of that 1-2-2. Two, two. Seven seconds to go. Here's Swingler dribbling to the middle. Gets it off to King. King fakes, drives to the lane, lays it up, and no good. He missed it. And that's the end 
of the third quarter play. Off T-Town, the Wooden Shoes, who trailed Capital Classic Championship. 44-35, Theotopoulos with a nine-point lead. Marshall with the ball. Steve Anderson and Rod McKinley. There's a blocking foul charged against Mitch Custer. And now, as we resume, in it comes to Boatman. Now back to guard. To Hills. Now to Boatman. Deep in the left corner. Man to man by T-Town. Is Blankenbaker's shot. is short and rebounded by King. T-Town getting to all the loose balls here in this second half. 44-35 they lead. Swingler. Now left side to King on the wing. Looks to the middle. There's Gobzinski in there. And he's fouled. Here's Swingler now out front for the wooden shoes to King. Now back to Swingler. He's deep on the right wing. The Marshall zone sags back in, protecting the inside. Gobzinski, his shot is up and no good. Rebound control by Swingler again, and T-Town will reload. That shot was only about a 15-footer, but it came off like a three-point shot and came long. Johnny King in the middle on the baseline. Here's the shot blocked away, but Gawzinski is there to stick back the men. 46-35, an 11-point lead for the Wooden Shoes with 6.40 to go in the game. Across the timeline comes Blankenbaker. Marshall could use a hoop here somehow, some way. Guard out front, guarded by Custer. Now he lays it off to Blankenbaker, guarded by Swinger. Blankenbaker goes to the hole, shoots and scores. Quick first step down the lane by Blankenbaker. And he scores a much needed hoop for the Lions. 46-37 T-Town, 6-10 to go in the game. Dobzinski top of the key, lays it off to King. Now back to Custer, he'll take over the duties out front. He's out spreading the floor, looking for the baseline cut. There's Gabzinski in the middle, takes it to the hole, shoots and scores, but he was fouled. And the fact is that with Marshall in the zone, T-Town can spread the floor, and they really don't have to shoot. Custer, but, a three-pointer from the corner is good. But you give it to Custer in the corner, you want him to shoot. Yes. <laughs> I think it's only point he shoots a three for a minute, the corner. Pretty much. They run that screen down there. 49-37. Here's a drive by Blankenbaker, and rejected by Gabzinski. And he, he was out of bounds over. when he got the rebound. Here's a long three-pointer by Boatman is no good. And the long rebound. Give a credit to Ken Crawford. Here's a shot from the corner. It's no good by guard and rebounded by Custer. He'll get it off to Nick Swingler. who will bring it across the timeline. Now to Custer. On the wing between the circles to Swingler. Now to Custer. Custer. T-Town now with Marshall back in that zone and just playing pitch and catch out front. They don't have to <laughs> force the action. They got the lead. And time ticking away. Five minutes to go in the game. And uh, Tom Brandon on the sideline says, let's, let's put a little more pressure on the ball. Johnny He's going to go man to man. Yep. Johnny King is way out front. Dribbles to the lane. Lays it off underneath. Shot is up and in. Beautifully done. John Tipton, the recipient of that King pass for a bucket. And it's 51 to 37, a 14 point T Town lead. The time running out of the Marshall Lions. 4.30 to go in the game. Blankenbaker tries to drive the left side, can't do it. Now gets it off to Hill. Now well, back to guard. Well, Marshall has not had very many good looks at the basket this second half. They had a lot of good ones in the first half. Blankenbaker down the lane, shoots and scores. Blankenbaker creating one-on-one. -on -one. And it's 51 to 39. Deep down with four minutes to go in the game. Across the timeline to Gabzinski to King. Deep on the right wing. They lob to the Gabzinski scores. A set play between King and his buddy Gabzinski. They point at each other as they head down the floor. Thanking them for the pass. Blankenbaker in the corner to Boatman. Here's a three-pointer on the way. In and out, no good by guard. And rebound control by Custer. Shots that starting not to fall for Marshall now where they were falling in the first half. Well, they were one of 11 in the third quarter. King down the lane. Lays it off, up and in by Tipton. Johnny King, a master 
at the pass in close quarters. And it's 55 to 39. A 16 point lead, long three pointer is no good by Boatman. Rebounded by Tipton. Look at Ken Crawford over there, waving his fist in the air. As his ball club rolling toward a title. Shot up and in by Tipton. He went right over the top of Parker to score. And the Tuatopolis juggernaut is rolling. 2.53 to go in the game. Many of the fans start to head for home here as the Wooden Shoes appear to have this game salted away. Ball knocked away from behind from Boatman, recovered by Gubzinski. The T-Town Ball Club is on a roll. 36-9 in the second half. They have put on a defensive clinic here in this second half. Now we have a holding foul. Charge against the end of the game. We'll have the naming of the all-tournament team here at the Basketball Capital Classic. Presentation of the trophies. Here is uh, because they play that their feet are in proper position. They don't reach footwork. Not getting off balance. Forcing yourself to reach. Another thing T-Town does well is that jump switch out front. Indeed. Now we have some jostling before the inbound. T-Town puts the pressure on. They make it so hard to do everything, Rob. You need to get the ball inbound. Three-pointer on the way is no good by Morris. And Johnny King with the rebound with two minutes to go in the game by the time he brings it across half court. Kaminsky out on the left wing to Custer deep in the left corner. Custer looks to the middle. Now to King. The T-Town spreads to the floor. 152 to go in the game. Gabzinski's now deep in the corner. Now out front to King. The Swingler, man to man by Marshall here. So all they can do is hope for some turnovers and some quick threes, but it may be too late. The second half has been a textbook T-Town basketball. 57-39, the Wooden Shoes in no hurry to score. They have plenty of points. Custer down the lane, lays it up, and in. It's Custer with a bucket and a 20-point lead for the Wooden Shoes at 59-39. to Here's a long three-pointer by guard. Is in and out, no good. Rebound tapped around. Parker has it. Back out front, another three-pointer by guard. No good. And Gubzinski comes down with a rebound. Now we have a timeout, 20-second timeout. And they're going to leave. What, 5-0? And, oh. and ranked number 11 in class, A basketball. Reserves in now for the wooden shoes. Out front is Eric Blumer. Here's Meddy in the middle, and he travels, turning it over with 31.3 seconds to go in the contest. And, you know, for all the points that T-Town has scored this half, I've only had Marshall with nine turnovers, so they've just forced up a lot of bad shots. Forced by that T-Town defense. Here's a long shot. It's no good. By a new player in the game for Marshall, number 13, Wade Switzer, a 5'10 senior guard. And we have a foul charge. Well, ball out of bounds off Marshall. No foul charge there. 19 seconds to go in the game. 59 to 39 is the score. Across the timeline comes the wooden shoes. Four seconds to go. The ball knocked away. Here is uh, Switzer laying it up. No good. And the game is over. Final score in this championship game. The Teotopolis wooden shoes. 59. Brian Lumber Company can customize the color of your quality do-it brand interior and exterior paints. The friendly ones can also help you choose all the right paint accessories that you need, like do-it brand rollers, spackle, and a large selection of paint brushes. So whether you've decided to work inside or out, or both, the new do-it best paint will help you get the job done right. That's Brian Lumber Company, 607 East Chestnut Street in Bridgeport. Presenting will be our Miss Lawrence County, Paula Tutkin. Okay. 
Okay, our we have two round robin tournaments. One is here and the other is at Lawrenceville. So we have a first place winner from each side. And the first place winner from the Lawrenceville site is the wooden shoes of Teotopolis. And the first place winner from the Red Hill sites, the Marshall Lions. I don't know how many of you came early tonight, but I don't know where you could spend three dollars and see two ball games like you did tonight. Now the Spirit Award. From the Lawrenceville site, the Lawrenceville Cheerleaders. And from the Red Hill site, it's the Red Hill Cheerleaders. Okay, tonight at 6 o'clock, we had a consolation game, and the consolation winner was the Red Hill Salukis. championship winners the Tia Topless Wooden Shoes. Next, we'll give the all-tourney teams from both sides. Okay, what we'll do, we'll have, we have actually six people on the all-tourney team. One of them is also the MVP. So there'll be five all-tourney from the Lawrenceville site, five from the Red Hill, then we'll have an all-tourney MVP from the Lawrenceville site and an all-tourney MVP from the Red Hill site. Okay, okay from the Lawrenceville site, the all-tourney team. From Lawrenceville, Graham Gear. From Martinsville, Chris Bennett. They've already gone home. From Sullivan, Craig Negengard. From Teotopolis, Mitch Custer. From Teotopolis, Johnny King.
No, that one's not Nick. Okay, now the alternate team from the Red Hill side. From Newton, Jeremy Blake. From Red Hill, Matt Shear. From Marshall, Blake Hills. From Red Hill, Kenny Fox. From Marshall, Chad Boatman. Now the MVP from the Lawrenceville site. From Teotopolis, Andrew Gobzinski. And the MVP from the Red Hill site from Marshall, Brandon Blakenbaker. I'll give those to you. That up to Newton. Yeah. Let's hear it for all the players. That's that one. And that one is from Martinsville.